There's two main categories. Okay. A saline implant mm -hmm. and a silicone implant. Mm -hmm. Silicone implant is also called a gel implant. Okay. It's also called a gummy bear implant. It's silicone. Mm -hmm. The saline implant is, it has the same shell, same outside part of it, but it's filled with water instead of silicone. I use 99.9% .9 silicone gel implants. Okay. And throughout the country, the majority of implants that get placed are silicone implants. Mm -hmm. They're a better implant. They're softer. They feel better. I think they look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. They have less chance of rippling which is that when you can get that mm -hmm. little wavy, usually you'll see that on the outside part of the breast okay. where patients, it's kind of the typical thing if someone's at a swimming pool, they're wearing a bikini, they reach out of their chaise lounge and reach over for their margarita or whatever, <laughs> you can see some of that rippling over yeah. there. That's It's more likely with saline mm -hmm. than it is with silicone. For all of those reasons, I think it's better to get a silicone implant. They're equally as safe okay. as a saline implant. Uh, a lot of times patients will, it'll be a hangover from the 90s where, pe where people will say like, oh, you know, I know that the saline implants are safer than the gel implants. They're not. Their silicone saline are exactly the same okay. in terms of safety. Neither one of them will harm you mm -hmm. or your health. As even if you get a capsule contracture, that capsule contracture is not harmful to you medically. Right. There is something called ALCL, which mm -hmm. is a cancer that can come from a breast implant. We don't use those implants. And those implants came from a certain manufacturer and they had a stippling, like a textured mm -hmm. material to the implant. The reason why we had that textured implant was because in those style of implants, they were anatomical. The implants that we use now are a smooth, round implant. And the anatomical have more of a teardrop shape. And so with that teardrop shape, those implants could turn and then that doesn't look very good. Mm -hmm. So they made them textured so they kind of stick in there. But they found out that that texturing was caused no some good. problems. Yeah. That hasn't been used for a long time. So you get a smooth... Safe implant. Yeah. So yeah. I use smooth round implants. Mm -hmm. They end up looking like a teardrop when you place them because yeah. when you hold them up, the silicone settles with gravity mm -hmm. and you get a more natural shape anyway. And we have, interesting, done standing up MRIs of patients with implants and you can mm -hmm. look to see their shape. So that's kind of cool.